Hey everybody, this is Hunter Williams. I hope you are doing amazing wherever you are at in the world. Today's video is going to be all about PT-141. So PT-141 is a peptide that people use to enhance sexual function. And the cool thing about it is opposed to some of the larger sexual function or erectile dysfunction medications like Cialis or Tadalafil is that women can use it. So yes, this was actually originally designed to help women with sexual function and increase their sexual desire and sexual arousal. So what I'm gonna be doing today is just giving you a total comprehensive breakdown like I usually do in my fashion and style of exactly everything you need to know about PT-141, uh, kind of where the mechanisms are in the body, where did it come from, where did it get developed, as well as any side effects, and then also the dosage. And lastly, if you stick around the end, or if you just want to click on the chapter titles down below, I'm going to be talking about some other things that you can stack it with. And usually I do like a peptide stack section at the end. But what I'm going to do today, it's not necessarily a peptide stack section, but it's going to be basically a stack that I would use if I were going to use PT-141 to optimize sexual function and optimize uh, all those pathways that are going to help with sexual performance. So um, this is going to be very uh, analytical. I'm not going to give you like some crazy like Playboy type view of PT-141 um, or anything like that. And that's just not personally how I roll. But um, today I'm going to be talking about it and include all that stuff. So before I jump over and share my screen, um, just a quick plug, if you want to sign up for the peptide cheat sheet uh, down below, I actually will update it uh, hopefully by the time this video goes out with PT-141. So it'll tell you how to reconstitute it. Um, how much water to put in the vial, how much to draw out in the insulin syringe and all that stuff. And uh, then also, uh, if you want to ask questions or have comments or anything like that, drop them in the comments below. And the reason I say this is because YouTube has been turning off the comments on a lot of my videos. So I do want you to know if the comments are off on any, for any reason on this video, it's not me. I want comments on the videos because it helps get the information out to more people. So just know that uh, for whatever reason, YouTube you know, obviously doesn't really like me because they deleted my old channel. But uh, anyway... Um, leave comments below if you have questions or anything like that and just know that they're off. I'm working to get them turned back on because they will let me turn them back on, um, but they'll do it like on random videos at random times. So anyway, um, without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen and today we're gonna break down PT-141. All right, so this is going to be a comprehensive overview of PT-141. My mission with this presentation and video is for you to leave and be able to use PT-141 at your leisure, wink, wink, anytime that you want. So let's get into it. So PT-141 is known as bromelanotide. Uh, basically, it's a groundbreaking peptide with uh, significant potential in treating sexual dysfunction, like I mentioned. Um, so let's get into it and talk a little bit about the mechanisms behind them. So... Um, like I said, it's a derivative, it's called bromelanotide. I, I always mispronounce that, but bromelanotide, it's basically a derivative of melanotan 2. So if you know anything about me, you know, I talk sometimes about melanotan 1. I'm not a big fan of melanotan 2. Melanotan 2 has this added wanted or sometimes unwanted side effect of giving you preopasms, which is basically for men, that means an erection for a long period of time. Now, that can actually be very uncomfortable for men, um, but some guys actually use melanotan 2 to get the sexual enhancement, sexual arousal uh, side effect from it. Now, what they did in creating PT-141 is some pretty smart scientists got together and they're like, okay, well, melanotan 2 causes this side effect. Can we isolate that side effect and actually like get the benefits without of the any uh, you know any of the other side effects? Um, so that was originally how this came about. So obviously, melanotan 2 was really developed originally developed for skin tanning uh, by stimulating melanogenesis. Um, and the unintended effect of that included sexual arousal. Um, so this was isolated through PT-141 to help treat sexual dysfunction. Um, so it's a pretty unique approach. Like a lot of erectile dysfunction or sexual arousal medications treat blood flow, um, which isn't necessarily wrong, but PT-141 like, works completely differently than all those because it works on the melanocorticoid receptor. So, um, Basically, instead of treating like blood flow, we're, we're looking at the central nervous system. Um, and then again, it works for erectile dysfunction or FSIAD, which is basically like women's sexual dysfunction, kind of like the same thing of erectile dysfunction uh, for women. Um, so kind of one of those things like you take something that's good and then you like turn it into something better. You take a side effect and then isolate that side effect. So let's look at the mechanism of action here. So PT-141 targets the central nervous system unlike conventional sexual dysfunction treatment. So it binds to the melanocortin receptors MC3R and MC4 in the brain. So what this does is it influences sexual arousal and desire. So it actually is making you quote unquote more horny 
in your mind uh, by influencing these receptors, which is weird because like the melanocortocord receptors are typically you know associated with skin health and everything, but they're you know this is how it works. So. Uh, this is obviously groundbreaking for addressing the neurological components of sexual function where people are just not interested. Now, I will say that a lot of times that's a hormonal deficiency as well, not only in men, but also in women. Uh, typically, women lack the requisite hormones that are going to cause them to have sexual desire for the most part. Um, but basically, these peptides do not directly affect blood flow, which I'm going to get to later in this presentation to talk about how we can stack this with other things, uh, which differentiates it, obviously, from our other ED drugs. Um, so it's just you got to be careful because, you know, when you're doing this, you want to know what you're doing from like a dosing uh, standpoint, and everything. And um, also the specificity of receptor targeting, minimizing the side effects related to non-targeted areas. So again, with like Melantan 2, we're not getting that weird orange skin tone. We're not getting like... Um, as much of the unintended side effects that everyone hates from Melanotan 2 with PT-141, which is pretty cool. So what are the benefits? So, you know, it benefits both men and women by addressing sexual dysfunction. So women with FSIAD see improvements in desire and sexual satisfaction. So it's pretty cool for women. Um, so, it, you know, not only does it improve sexual health, but as a consequence of improving sexual health, it's going to improve other areas of well-being. Um, however, for men, it provides an alternative treatment for rectal dysfunction, especially, you know, what can happen a lot of times with Cialis or Viagra is that men start to build up tolerance to these medications. So they have to ha take a larger and larger and larger dose. Uh, and what I'm going to talk about in the stacking section is how you can like minimize the dosage of some of these medications and peptides and different things to maximize sexual desire without like overloading one pathway. Um, so what's cool about this is I have noticed this obviously with Melantan 1 because I talk about how it enhances consciousness. But when we enhance the melanocorticoid receptor and allow the body to like have enhanced function in that sense, it improves our sense of well-being because of how we absorb sunlight. And I don't know what exactly specifically is going on there, but Jay Campbell and I have talked a lot about this. So you're kind of getting the same thing with PT-141. Now, obviously you're not getting the skin tanning benefit, but you're getting this overall enhancement in consciousness, this overall reduction in anxiety, this overall, you know, like kind of sense of well-being that comes from that. So um, you know, obviously offers, you know, hope for people that take Cialis, Viagra, or other women's equivalent of those medications and don't really get results with those. So I think a lot of people would be do good to do this. And obviously it's a peptide, so it's all natural. So you don't really have anything to lose um, in terms of like side effects or like unwanted things that could be very dangerous or anything like that. Um, so obviously some users report enhanced experiences in sexual encounters, not only from, you know, like a, I guess, like arousal and um, erection standpoint, but then also the experience itself. Um, so basically what we are doing is targeting the nervous system and not blood flow with PT-141. So um, obviously this could be like a pretty big thing for sexual health it, you know, if it becomes mainstream. So it can be all good, right? What are some of the side effects? So common side effects include facial flushing, nausea, and headaches, which if you've ever used Melantan 1 or Melantan 2, not so much with Melantan 1, but definitely with Melantan 2, you know that's a symptom of hitting this melanocorticoid pathway. So um, in rare cases, PT-141 has been noted to cause hyperpigmentation, vomiting, respiratory issues, and I really think that probably comes from overdosing it too many times, um, which I'm going to get to in the dosing. Um, but the, tra the side effects, especially like the, the flushing, the nausea, the headaches, those typically in my experience go away in like 10 to 15 minutes. So if you are using this, just be cognizant of like timing because I know timing can be delicate when it relates to, you know, sexual activity and everything. Um, but obviously, too, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy on the Internet that happens to know a lot of stuff and publish a lot of information about this. So take for that what you will. Now, let's look at the dosage. So the dosage is very, very straightforward. Um, I would start with 0.5 milligrams, also known as 500 micrograms. So basically there's a thousand micrograms in a milligram. So 500 micrograms is half a milligram. Um, so 500 micrograms up to two milligrams. Now typically you're gonna see PT-141 in a 10 milliliter, or excuse me, 10 milligram vial. So again, check out my videos on reconstitution, check out the peptide cheat sheet. But basically like it's very simple to take a 10 milligram vial, reconstitute it to get that amount that you need into one injection. So Here's where we get to the administration method. Now, you will hear people out there and you're going to see it sold on research chemical company websites to do intranasal spray. You can absolutely do intranasal spray with PT-141. You can probably do it and get good results with it. I am just always of the opinion, use subcutaneous injection. For me, that's personal preference. I don't like snorting things up my nose. It irritates my nose. It irritates my sinuses and everything. And I just don't like feel the absorption very well. 
Um, and it, you know, it's like very delicate to like try to measure out how much nasal spray is actually coming out when you do it. And there's an added step in the reconstitution. So I always just stick with subcutaneous injection and that's for pretty much all peptides. Really when do they have that you administer, administer intranasally that you can't do subcutaneous or intramuscularly, um, injection. So I personally would use it as an injection, but if you have a fear of injection for whatever, just know that you can technically use this as an intranasal injection. So um, start with 500 micrograms or 0.5 milligrams. And then if you need to go up in dosage, you can go up to two milligrams, you know, and if you, this is the first time you've ever used a peptide or especially PC-141, maybe even start smaller, you know, 250 micrograms and just see how you respond. Now you might not see like that big of a benefit from it, um, but you can kind of go from there. And then, you know, that's a good starting point. And then as you get more comfortable with it, as you get more familiar with it, you can kind of like titrate and see. Um, now, as far as timing goes, you want to do this about 45 minutes before sexual activity. So that's kind of a sweet spot because this has a pretty short half-life. I forget off the top of my head of what the half-life is, um, but you want to make sure that's around 45 minutes. One, that's going to give you time to clear out any like flushing or nausea or anything like that that would come right away after you do the injection. Um, and then two, that's going to basically uh, allow you to kind of like ease into sexual activity. You can have foreplay and everything. And then hopefully, you know, quote unquote, as you are uh, getting to the climax, no pun intended, um, you, you are maximizing the benefit and the effect. But, you know, typically uh, the intended effects aren't going to last much longer than like two to four hours. And obviously that's dependent upon the arousal pathway. So you're not going to be like, you know, have have your deal and then go out and like, you know, go chop wood in the yard and think that you have to worry about it. So maybe, but it's just not in my experience. So obviously like with peptides, you know, personal tolerance is very uh, different based on your body size and everything. But I will say like this dosage is the same for men and women. Maybe, you know, if you're a woman, um, you know, start with a little bit lower dose than half a milligram, but most peptides are all going to be the same dosing for men or women. I know that sounds weird because if you look at like androgens or you look at like some supplements, you would argue like men would need way more of stuff, which in those cases they do a lot of times, but for peptides, you know, uh, it's just very, very, um, close aligned in the dosage for men and women. So I would say that's the same dosage for women as well. Now, here's where I kind of built this thing of like what I would call the optimal sexual arousal stack. So what I would do is I'm going to take PT-141. I'm going to start with 0.5 milligrams, 500 micrograms of PT-144, P, excuse me, PT-141 injected 45 minutes before I intend to have sexual activity. Then what I'm going to do is use five milligrams of Cialis or Tadalafil. I like the liquid version of that that you can get from research chemical company websites, which I can't publicly promote, but if you sign up for my email list, you'll see uh, where to get all of this stuff for very cheap. And you don't need a prescription and you just have to know that it's not sold for, you know, human consumption is sold for research purposes only. Um, but what I would do is uh, during that day, you don't have to do the Cialis 45 minutes before, you definitely could, um, but you can take the Cialis any time of the day. So we've got PT-141, five milligrams of Cialis. Now, if you know anything about Cialis, you know that's a really low dose. So what we're doing here is we're taking like smaller doses of things that are hitting different pathways to optimize like overall sexual function and well-being. Um, so what I would do is take five milligrams of Cialis. That's a low dose. You know, most people for sexual function take 15 to 30 milligrams. We're going to do five milligrams. Um, so Cialis works on the vascular system and PT-141 targets the nervous system, which off the, like is going to hit two different pathways to stimulate the best arousal and desire and function um, as it does. Now, what I added in is oxytocin. Now, you got to be careful with this. You want to do a little bit lower dose than you probably normally do with oxytocin. Um, like 50 micrograms, maybe even like 25 micrograms, because if you take oxytocin with PT441, one side effect that both of those will have is that flushing effect. So you just don't want to overload your system with flushing, but you can definitely do them. I would do them in separate injections just because I've never done them together in one syringe, but you could inject them both at the same time. And again, the timing for oxytocin is very similar in terms of how early you want to do it related to the sexual activity. So again, 45 minutes before, um, so this is going to basically enhance the sexual intimacy. It's not going to necessarily work on like blood flow or even the nervous system like PT-141 does, but it is going to enhance the intimacy and bonding with your partner. Assuming that's what you want to do. I think that's what most people want to do. That's what I'd want to do. Um, but assuming that's what you want to do. Now, what I've added is this supplement called NOB. It's this actually developed by a guy named Dr. Nathan Bryan. Uh, I believe he founded the company called Super Beats, and now he has a company called NOB. Um, and... You know, guys, I don't like hype stuff up, or I would hope that you know I don't like hype stuff up, you know, that's like normie supplements. But as far as normie supplements go, this is like a really, really good stuff. It's actually like the my best, the best pre-workout that I've been able to find that I don't make myself. 
Um, but basically this enhances nitric oxide. So when you pair this with oxytocin, with PT-141 and with Cialis, you're hitting the nitric oxide pathway, uh, the um, blood flow pathway is released to Cialis, the bonding pathway is released to oxytocin, and then the nervous system pathway is released to PT-141. So this would be like the dream, you know, like pre-date night stack, especially if you were wanted to be intimate in a very uh, related way, you know, like close and emotionally close uh, with your partner. So here's kind of like that stack, five milligrams of Cialis, 50 micrograms of oxytocin, one serving of NO Beach. You can look that up on Google, just type in NO Beach. I don't have an affiliate code or anything like that. Um, I just know it's a really good product and I've used it before. Um, and then obviously, you know, 500 micrograms of PT-141. And you do that, you know, like 30 to 45 minutes before sexual activity. And you are talking about hitting all those pathways where you're not overwhelming one, but you're getting a really good effect all around. So that would be like the holistic approach to sexual health if you could ever define one. And the cool thing about that is for the most part, women can do this as well as men. You know, five milligrams of Cialis for a woman is intended to help men, but that's not so high a dose that a woman couldn't do it. Now, I am not telling you if you're a woman to go take Cialis or Tadalafil, um, and you could do all these other things. You could do PT-141, you could do uh, oxytocin, you could do NO beats and still get really amazing arousal and benefit from doing that. So that's just my own opinion. But let me pull down my screen. And that is everything you need to know about PT-141. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, hopefully it made sense. Again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know if this was helpful to you guys so I can keep cranking out more content like this because I love doing this stuff. I love talking about this stuff. I could talk about it all day. So again, don't forget to sign up for the email list. Join uh, by signing up for the Peptide Cheat Sheet. I've also got my supplement sources list and all those links down in there. Um, you know, the links to the private community and everything like that. But you guys know the deal um, if you're here watching. So appreciate you guys. Much love out there. And I will talk to you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.